Hey all, welcome back. Six liter uh, engine turning tool. <clears throat> they make a special tool for practically everything. <clears throat> but if you bought every special tool that they ha have, you know what you'd be? Broke. So anyways, um, this is what we came up with. I'm gonna show you how this uh, works. Um, your craftsmanship can be a lot better than mine. I just want the functionality and, and ease of just throwing this together. Um, and just decided to paint it forward blue just just because. Um, we'll go, yeah, I was gonna say something. We'll go We'll go that part later. I said this should work on a lot of other things too, like 7.3, the 6.4, um, lots of different ones. <laughs> and other makes and brands and all that kind of stuff too as well. So let me show you, um, our materials and what we decided to do and, and show you it in action. Let's get a different camera view. Alright, this is what we did. We just took a piece of plate steel. This happens to be a eighth of an inch. I think. Might be... Might be the... Yeah, but anyways, and I'd use this to uh, mark out my holes, you know, and this one, this one, and that one because if you were to pull that balancer off that crank pulley, you would use a puller like this. You want to thread it holes there. <clears throat> okay, showed you materials and everything and what we used. Um, this was the, uh, it's a socket extension, I don't know, it was about that long, that had broke, the other end of it broke on me, so um, we welded that in place. I did my holes a little bit, uh, bigger than um, just so it can you know have a little bit of movement these are the bolts we're going to use for this particular engine um, these are 10 millimeter coarse I guess coarse thread fine thread I don't know um, you just have to find them at work but it's 10 millimeter size but I think that's the only thread size the only thread type they are for this this particular type of bolt but anyways those are going to go in there we're going to bolt this thing on there then you can stick a half inch drive um, ratchet in here and turn the engine so what we're doing is we have this 03 in here and we are replacing the transmission and you're going to need on these uh, six liters you got two um, areas to where you can access the um, bolts to, to unbolt the uh, torque converter from the flywheel but they're only both both only about that big all right so we're underneath here one of the places is to remove this kind of a rubber plug out of that hole there and you'll have to just get in there with kind of a short extension I don't think I can film this if the engine was there's a bolt right there up to the top left or a nut <coughs> excuse me uh, 15 millimeter if I recall correctly, but I need to rotate this engine over to uh, there she be. maybe get it a little bit more. I can't see it, but the other place is if you remove this rubber cover way up. So if you go up, you got transmission, oil pan, engine, and you go up here and remove that plug from right there. I find those are a little harder to get to just because you can't, I can't get my head up in there to see. Right now I can't even see what the camera's uh, pointing at. I'm trying to, uh, there's your access hole right there. So you can see the back of the flex plate. But anyways, just thought I'd show you those two ways. So see on this uh, crank pulley you got four bolts there you don't have one in the center and so a lot of times if you did you could get a wrench on there and rotate it that way <clears throat> and you can use those bolts I just don't really like to but what we're gonna do is there's these are threaded that 10 millimeter thread all three of those one two three that piece we built, you know, it's gonna go flat against here, and then we're gonna just bolt it using those threads, 
and then we can turn, you know, use the ratchet to uh, turn this engine over. And that's what we're doing. So let's get that thing bolted up. All right, we got that thing bolted in place there, just like we talked about. The same threaded holes that are in the uh, crank pulley that would be used to pull it off. So now what you do is just get a uh, half inch ratchet and you can pull the glow plugs if you want, make it turn their turn easier, but I don't if I don't have to. This works uh, just fine. It's the compression a little bit, but we're we're rolling and just like that. And you just tighten these bolts down and snug it. The nice thing is with this tool like it is, the pain in the butt part is this, if you're doing this by yourself, um, you can't see right now there we've been rolling it there's a nut right there I can feel it but I can't see it um, but I can I can hold my right hand right here until I feel it as I'm reaching over and grabbing that I can't do it now because this is in my way but um, I can reach through here and grab that that's the nice thing about doing this tool that way so Well, there you have it, folks. Apparently not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they're ugly like me. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, not a sponsor, just good stuff. Um, yeah, anyways, if you make your uh, you know holes bigger, or big enough um, to you can kind of adjust it a little bit, um, it might fit a lot of other applications. I'm pretty dang sure that that uh, crank pulley is about the same size as, as one on a 7.3. I haven't tried this tool on a 7.3 um, because I just made it for this. Because usually with a 7.3, if I'm cranking the engine over, uh, there's a one one center bolt that goes right through the uh, crank pulley or harmonic balance or whatever you want to call it, um, crank pulley. And you can just get a, a socket on that and just rotate it around that way but um, with these six liters with the four bolts like that you you know you, you can but I don't really like to but anyways um you know only thing I would do different on mine is I probably just wouldn't use the diamond plate type of uh, of steel but that's all I had and so and it works just fine but anyways that's why I painted it so I made it you know at least when it's hanging on the wall or something like that it looks a little bit more decent but there we go so with that um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, shoot them down in the um, crap talker there below, and, and uh, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.